Good evening, everybody. I'm Cindy DeFilippo, Daniel Webster Council's new Family Engagement Coordinator, and I'm welcoming you to this month's membership workshop, which is all about onboarding families, and we're going to learn a little bit about the membership coordinator's role as well. Thank you for joining us. Get my slides up here. All right, can everyone see the slide? Great. Um, so as we talk about, we're talk, first start talking about um, onboarding new families and scouts. And really the very first step to doing this is, um, you know, when you see them in person, of course, you're welcoming them in person in your unit. But it's really important to uh, make sure that you have a welcome email prepared that really gives them the basic information without overwhelming them. That's the trick, right? Because we want to give people all the information they need, but we also don't want to scare them away. And we have this great resource, the BSA Brand Center, um, that has tons of welcome email templates, as well as our own Dana Webster Council Membership and Marketing Hub. And after we um, go through a few of these steps, I'm gonna go into the BSA Brand Center and show you all where you can find these resources and how to download those as well. Um, one of the great things about the BSA Brand Center templates is that they have a whole series of email templates. So it's um, a template that um, talks to the interested family that's interested to learn more. And then it has um, a welcome, you know, to the welcome to our unit. And it also has, you know, if you haven't joined yet, there's still time. And then it goes into a whole series on how you can um, also encourage that family to invite friends to join your unit too. So it's a great resource. There is also um, in the same area of the BSA Brand Center, a welcome to the pack editable flyer. And if you're also a leader in troops or other units, um, you could really tailor it to work for your unit as well. You could kind of copy and paste it into a Word document and, and make it your own that works for your unit. But it's a printable that um, includes all the unit's information onto one sheet, so it's very easy for the family to find and navigate. And it could be an activity at one of your first meetings that you have the scouts fill out, or maybe the leader fills out one whole copy and then you just print one for each den or each of your patrols or for your entire unit, whatever suits you. Another question that we get often is how do we recruit the adult leaders? Um, that is always a tricky part, right? Because we have the families come in and, um, you know, we really um, obviously need the help as we get more scouts. And that is always um, the tricky part when we talk about uh, recruiting in general. You know, the scouts come in there, they're excited, but um, when you approach the adults, sometimes it's a little bit intimidating for them to get involved. So um, another great resource in a, is an adult recruiting packet that I also am going to show you on the BSA Brand Center that has all these great ideas on how to really recruit and get excited and get the adults excited about becoming part of your unit and, and your leadership team. There's um, some steps to think about as well as some ideas to really bring the fun in. And I think that's what we all notice, right? If our own leaders that already exist and, our, and the kids in the unit that are already in your unit, if the, everyone's having fun, people are gonna naturally wanna have fun with you. If everyone's making it look like a lot of work, which you know it can be a lot of work at times and that's understandable, but if it looks like a lot of hard work and we're making things look really difficult, it's gonna be harder to get those folks to join you. So we need to make sure that we're dedicating some time in those first meetings or two, or maybe you have a separate meeting or even a Zoom workshop like this, where you're showing the adults and the scouts the ropes, right? You wanna literally show them the ropes of your unit. There's educational videos available on um, the Membership and Marketing Hub as well as the BSA Brand Center that um, literally have slides that you can um, that you can edit and make and you know put your unit's information into uh, for scouts and for cubs. And those slides educate the families on how the whole thing works. 
you got to remember that, you know, we're so ingrained in it that we say dens, patrols, troops, packs, um, a cub master, a scum, a scout master, right? Um, and we just say it like it's nothing. But if you think and, and remember back to when you were brand new to scouting, how many of you knew the lingo? You can raise your hand if you did. <laughs> right? We, you don't know. It's like learning a whole new language. And we have to really be aware of that because you instantly exclude people when you're not speaking their language, right? You know, if you're in a room of people and you're not understanding what they're saying, regardless of what it is they're talking about, do you feel included? Do you feel like part of the family? Do you feel like part of the club? No, right? You're not gonna feel like you belong. And Scouts is about belonging, right? And, and everyone, I like to think, you know, I often call our, my troop that I'm involved in, they're my scouting family. These people are my family and it's because they welcomed me with open arms. They welcomed us with open arms. They watch over us. They care about us. And they took the time to teach us all the things that we need to know to be a part of that family. So really think about what it felt like to be brand new and put yourself in their shoes. And you'll see these tools and you'll probably think, oh man, I wish I had that when I just started. That's really helpful. And I'm going to get to that in just a second. Um, and some of the things you want to include too is the vocabulary, like we talked about den. What does that mean? You know, a group of, you know, two to 10 kids, the same age group um, that meet, you know, once a week or once every other week, however your unit does it. Um, you know, Cub Master is someone that, you know, leads all the programming in um, your pack, um, you know, so on and so forth. Um, it'd be great to have a little vocabulary key. And then you might want to list some of the activities that you're going to do this year um, and some fun upcoming events. Use social media. You know, parents, I know around my age, our age, um, it's not the young whippersnappers on Facebook these days. It's, it's a lot of parents. That's a lot of our target audiences, so to speak, are actually on Facebook and social media. So create a Facebook page for your unit if you haven't done so already and really use that as one of the ways that you communicate. A lot of people spend a lot of time on social media, right? I think COVID kind of helped with that. Um, and use that to really communicate. Hey, you know, guys, the Pinewood Derby is coming up. Here are some cool Pinewood Derby cars that I found online, right? You can post like a, a slideshow of the, of the cars, or maybe there's a video of a car racing down the track. Um, you know, people can comment and ask questions. And, you know, the only catch is, you know, having that volunteer that's comfortable with using social media and that's it, and that is able to check it rather often to have that instant communication with those families as well. Um, there are social media tools um, on the BSA Brand Center, as well as the Membership and Marketing Hub, um, you know, Daniel Webster Council's hub as well. Um, there's copy and graphics that you can literally copy and paste and enter in your own unit's information. There's suggested email copy, like we talked about, text copies. So maybe your parents really utilize text messaging a lot. Um, there's suggested text copy. There's social media graphics and photo frames that you can use. Um, so there's lots of tools there that so you're not just kind of left to do it on your own. And don't forget, guys, another way to communicate and to keep recruiting those uh, new families is our flyers. And this year we really started utilizing the back of the flyer. We had this whole blank side that we weren't taking advantage of. Um, and this is what the backs of the flyers look like um, when you uh, request them. It asks, you know, three different additional events other than your joint scouting night, which is at the bottom of the page there. And it just gives families um, some ideas on what's coming up in the um, in your unit so that they'll number one, want to join because of all the cool things you're doing. And number two, if they can't make it to your joint scouting event, then maybe they'll reach out and they'll want to make it to um, your, you know, the scout day at the Fisher Cats, which went by, or um, another event that you're listing um, if you're going pumpkin picking or your Halloween party. Um, so I just wanted to show the back of the flyer again so you guys would know that. Um, and for some tools, before I show you the physical tools on the brand center, um, if you go to the membership and marketing hub and you um, click on resources and downloads, 
you will see that there's a step-by-step step-by-step um, step notes and materials on how to plan a joint scouting event. And if you've already planned one this year, which I'm sure most of you have, um, it's not one and done, right? You can do once a month um, activities where scouts can bring friends and just have all your recruiting materials available. So if folks have questions about pricing or how to register that you have everything there with your membership coordinator. Um, and there's also um, steps with following up and welcoming those new families as well on the on uh, Daniel Webster Council's membership and marketing hub. And this is the QR code um, for the membership and marketing hub as well. And these slides will be posted along with um, this workshop on the membership and marketing hub under workshops. Um, so that will definitely, um, so those will be there for you to utilize as well. There's also national membership and marketing workshops that focus on recruiting retention um, and the list goes on recruiting adults as well. Uh, really helpful um, tools out there for you too. Um, and again, that will be posted for you guys. So now I'll stop sharing this page. I know I went through all that really quick, quickly, but that's because I wanted to show you guys where the actual tools are. Um, we're gonna go to the BSA Brand Center first. I have all these screens open. And let's see. All right, are you guys seeing um, what looks like adult recruitment playbook there at the top? All right, so um, I'm gonna go back a little bit. So when you go into the BSA Brand Center, the marketing library comes up and all I did, and when you click the marketing library, you get this search um, window right here. And in the search window, I actually typed in welcome because that's when all these awesome resources pop up. And what you'll see is some of the things that we talked about earlier. And one of them being the welcome to the Cub Scout pack handout. And I love this because it's so colorful and it would be a fun activity for the Cub Scouts to even fill out with their den leader um, if they are able and willing to, to write out the information um, or the parent can sit with them and help them out as well. Um, but it has, you know, the meeting, when they meet, where, who the cub master is. I don't know, even to this day, I have parents in our troop saying, you know, who is this person? Is this person an assistant scout master? What does that mean? Who, who do I go to see this? So this is just a great resource. And it's something that you can kind of copy and paste into a Word document and change up to work for other units as well, not just for your pack. Um, even has a spot for your social media page. And then what I love is that it mentions the um, scout shop because a lot of folks ask, where do I get my uniforms, right? So you wanna make sure that they know that they can go to scoutshop.org or the Manchester Scout Shop, which is at Camp Carpenter. Um, and um, they often have discounts as well. So you may wanna call up and see if they're offering any discounts at the moment and you can make sure your families know about that too. So this is a great one sheet. Has, has anyone here used anything similar to this to welcome new families in yet? Or if you have a different idea too. Right, it's pretty nice to have everything in one spot. You know, they could put this in, in a magnetic frame and keep it on the fridge for a little bit as they get used to everything. Or they can um, scan it and keep it in their own computer files as well. So in this pack recruiting guide that they have here, uh, one of the councils made up this little recruiting guide and it really has a series of emails in this recruiting guidebook, which is um, uh, the series, the emails are coming up next actually. This is, um, this is a great little guidebook um, talking about post pandemic recruiting, you know, how to be visible in your community, um, they, they list a bunch of different ideas. And of course their physical tools are different than ours, but we do have inflatable archery ranges. We have the mobile base camp. We have other um, activities as well that you, that you can bring out to different community events. They have, um, you know, all these uh, different activities that um, are 
are, um, you know, ways that you can bring buddies to events. And they talk about peer-to-peer -peer recruiting, parent-to-parent -parent recruiting, which is different, right? And that's what we have to think about too. We have to kind of be like salespeople, right? You know, to think about, well, as a parent, what do I want to hear about um, in terms of what scouting will do for my child and my family? How, what are the benefits of scouting, right? Because think about why you signed your child up. Maybe they, you want them to build confidence. Maybe you want them to develop certain skills um, outside of school. Maybe you just wanted to get them off the iPad and outside, right? Off their phones or off the computer or the video games. Um, so definitely think as marketers, you know, about um, the target audience and as you're onboarding families, it's the same thing, right? When you're talking to parents about the information they may need, it's different than talking to the scouts about what they should expect in your units. You know, with your scouts, you're going to talk about, um, you know, all the cool things that um, they're going to be doing, like the derby, like a Klondike, um, you know, campouts and high adventure trips and all that fun stuff. Um, you know, the blue and gold, you know, banquet for the packs as well. Um, but to the parents or the guardians, you know, you're going to tell them about how a lot of these activities, you know, what they're gonna, what the, what the scouts are gonna learn and the skills that they're gonna develop. Um, so they do talk about, um, you know, how to be inviting to the adults as well. And that's just a great little reference really on more of the um, recruiting effort and getting people involved. I'm gonna go back to the emails. This is what I meant to click on here. As you can see, there's a lot of different things to choose from. And I'll show you how to download these too, because it's a little different. It's working a little slower than I like. There we go. <laughs> so these are leader messages to potential parents. And as you can see, it's all set up so you can um, literally download this to your um, to your laptop, to your device, and just change the information inside the copy here. So it even has a subject line. Um, scouting is fun for the whole family. We're so glad that you're interested in scouting. So these are for families that maybe came to join scouting night that are just looking for more information. They didn't sign up right at that join scouting night. And this is great stuff for you, membership coordinators, membership volunteers. This is all stuff you should have in your back pocket um to you know really line up when you're thinking about inviting families because um as people come join scouting nights you'll you'll have the joiners who are going to join pretty much regardless of what they see they're, they're they they want to join they came to the unit to join and they probably just need to know the cost and how to join and that's going to be part of your role is walking them through that process um you'll have some folks that they're not sure they're going to join yet they're not sure maybe if the, the price is worth it or if they're gonna fit in with the unit that they're visiting. So you always wanna follow up. And one great first step in following up is an email. Glad you're interested. Um, this is all about fun. This is what, you know, so really quickly, you see how this is very non-intimidating, right? It's like just a couple of sentences really. And then, um, and then if they joined your joint scouting event, or the next event that you hosted, there's a quick thank you as well, right? So it's just about communication and creating that relationship with those families. And then I love that they have a new parent announcement. And it's like, hey, you have questions, we get answers, right? And that is so key, like we talked about earlier, that they're gonna wanna feel like they're in the know, they're gonna wanna know more about what they signed up for. Um, so, um, you can enter in right here, you know, it gives you suggestions, scout shop uniform, you know, promotion or the link to the scout shop or some information on where the scout shop is. And then um, the first meeting or the next meeting, all the information for that, who to contact. If you have a welcome to unit, to my, to our unit flyer, or even I, I like to put in there maybe your unit's calendar. Um, if you have a yearly calendar or even a calendar for the month. Um, adding the calendar um, or adding a link to your to your unit's website where they can find the calendar or other events coming up. Um, that's a great spot to do that in this email so they can see 
what's in store for them. And then the contact information at the end if they have more questions. And like we talked about earlier, maybe you add a fun fact at, at each email, you know, um, do you know why we shake with the left hand? And you can put that in. So that way they're learning as you go, but it's not this overwhelming encyclopedia of information all at once. And then they do add in some suggested copy on, hey, it's not too late to invite your friends. You know, scouting's more fun with friends and, um, you know, encouraging families to spread the word about your unit and inviting them into um, the unit as well. Um, they also have um, the adult recruitment approach here, which we, um, suggested earlier too, because as you're recruiting new families, it's tough to recruit the adults. And there's a lot of great information there. I just wanted to point that out for you guys, especially um, you know, to our membership folks as well. And this is where you would download. And um, so you would you know, click the download button and it brings up um, you know, like, oh, is this, what, is this what you would like? And then you press submit. And then it does give you the warning about copyright and all that stuff. And then you select accept and then it downloads to your downloads folder on your computer. And as you can see, there's a bunch of resources here and inviting scouts back that may have dropped, especially over COVID. And I was looking for that one other piece here. Um, yeah, this is the other um, welcome to the pack um, downloadable as well. It's with the adventure on branding. Um, and I believe that has most of the same information as well. Yeah, see, there you go. It has, um, you know, where we meet, when we meet, and the scout shop. It really is a great tool to have all that information in one spot. And so while um, the kids are doing a fun craft or, um, you know, busy with a few of the leaders, you can bring parents um, aside and you could, here's a Scouts BSA example. Um, you can show them this really useful, quick slideshow um, that gives them a lot of information that they're looking for on that joint scouting event. And again, I know we're talking a lot about recruiting, but this really is focusing on retention in the sense that they're learning all about your unit. They're getting the information they need to feel um, included and feel like they are part of your group. So you can enter in your own information there and there's like 60 slides, I think. So I won't go through the whole thing. Um, but um, once it loads, I can scroll down really quick to show you a few things, but it really um, just kind of does a non-threatening um, approach to kind of educating the parents really quick all about um, scouting what the unit is all about. So it says, welcome. Um, it does have a quick video there. Um, it talks about you know what the kids are going to do. It's it's a little bit slow loading on Zoom. Um, and it says so. What is Scouts PSA? So it's great conversational speak, and it kind of goes through all about what they expect. Um, you know, open to boys and girls. Um, it talks about um, the Eagle Award and some of the advancements, and it just goes through really what the parents can expect. Um, and that is really important, you know, um, you know, you can add in some of the, the lingo as well and kind of teaching them what it, you know, what everything means and, and who they can turn to for support. So that's the BSA Brand Center. Uh, we're gonna go to our membership and marketing hub so I can show you that really quick. And it's just swirling and swirling. <laughs> And there's lots of other materials. There's a lot of um, stock photos on the BSA Brand Center as well. So if you're looking for things to post on social media pages, or if you're at, you know, if you're looking to add photos to your emails, of course, your own unit photos are great to add, um, so folks can see what you know you guys did at your own events. 
but um, but there's lots of resources there for you guys um, for whatever you need. So this is um, Daniel Webster Council's membership and marketing hub. And we have some menus here. And the resources and downloads is um, the step-by-step -step, um, join scouting night um, steps and resources for you guys right there. So it has the planning resources and you can download each one of those or whichever ones that you need. Um, the resources to promote the event or any of your, any of your recruiting events. And that's where you'll find the Halloween trick or treat candy tags. So if you um, are giving out candy for Halloween, definitely add those tags or add your own um, tags to, to the candy as well. And then under execute, this is what I wanted to show you because I know a few of you are, are new to the member coordinator role. It has a whole explanation of the role of the new member coordinator. Um, and it's just really helpful to narrow down what that means for that role. And all right here in the execution, we have the uh, membership fee chart. So all the pricing is there, uh, which includes, um, there's like the original, you know, the pricing all kind of separated out. So you can see the joint scouting fee, the scout life fee, um, the registration fee. But then we also have a chart on that same page that shows you what the total fee is combined for each month. So it's really helpful to have that printed out. So when families are joining, you can say, oh, well, to join, um, you know, from September to December, it's this much. Uh, but, you know, right now in October, you really want them to join, um, you know, for the 15 months because you're going to be recharting or you're in the process of rechartering. And so you really don't want to have to ask them again for money in um, December or January. So, um, so you can tell them, you know, the cost for the 15 months. And that's all right there in that fee chart. Um, and then they have, um, we also have a join scouting night sign in sheet at the bottom here. And that's a sheet that you can print out. So if folks maybe can't or don't really wanna use their devices to get into your invitation or application managers, they can physically leave their contact information handwritten on the join scouting sign in sheet. I feel the, the best and easiest thing is for them to um, go to your unit pin on bscout.org and they can click, you know, more that they want more information and they go right into your invitation manager. So that way everything is digital, it's there, you can track your interactions with them. Um, but if they're ready to apply at your event, then they can click apply now under your units pin and easily apply online and use their credit card. And then you don't have to worry anything about getting applications to us and doing the payment separately and all of that stuff. It's really much easier and more efficient for folks to register online. So the execute section is a really great section for our member coordinators who are here. And, um, and it even includes a sign up night unit playbook, which really walks you through how to plan and execute a effective joint scouting night as well. Is there any questions with that? I know I kind of sped through that a little bit. Or anything that you think is missing? You guys are a quiet bunch. <laughs> and then of course it, it, it walks through, you know, following up and then the welcome. And so um, under the welcome, I wanted to show you this as well because this is also obviously part of the onboarding um, um, part of, of welcoming the families into the pack. And this is right on our very own uh, membership and marketing hub. So we have our own uh, new family onboarding letter and you click on that. It calls it up here eventually. It will get there. I think when Zoom runs on my laptop, it's, it works really hard. Um, oh, so this is um, what you'll find in the BSA Brand Center. So it's right here for you on the hub. And then, um, um, and then it has a, um, this is great. I actually love that this is available. We have a new family welcome packet. And this is also on the hub as well. This is what I was trying to find while I was 
um, talking to you guys and we're on the BSA Brand Center. Um, it has, it's all um, for parents and guardians, you know, why join Cub Scouting? It even has a scout oath in law, which I love because a lot of folks obviously new to it won't, don't know what that is. Um, you know, how it works, it explains dens um, and all the different dens, the pack meetings. So as you can see, this is a really, really useful tool. And what you can do is, you can just copy it. You can even copy this link or you can download this packet. Um, and when you send them the welcome letter, you can um, add this as an attachment or you can copy this link and paste it into your email and have them um, and have them read through the packet and you know let them know that it's some great information on how our uh, packs and dens work and what to expect in cup scouting. And it even has a great section on how they can help. <laughs> so if folks are raring to go to help, this is where they can find a role that suits them in cub scouting. Um, it even talks about the training and where to go for training and all about the importance of youth protection. So this is a really a great resource for those families that you will find right on the membership and marketing hub under execute or welcome, I'm sorry, under welcome, uh, which makes much more sense. <laughs> so that was the welcome new Cub Scout family information packet. And you really wanna make sure that every family um, gets that packet. And then we do have the Scouts BSA unit presentation. That was what I just tried to scroll through um, just a second ago. And that's great to show at the Scouts BSA, you know, um, maybe you have a welcome night where the new families come and you can show them that presentation. And uh, we do have applications and national forms. We have a link to that as well. So if folks do want to, um, print out paper applications, they are available for you to download and print out as well. This is also from the BSA Brand Center. So this is all um, the, the welcome folder that I had showed you earlier on the BSA Brand Center um, and also welcoming back scouts that may have dropped as well. This might be something that you might wanna go back to after rechartering. If some folks dropped off maybe in, um, you know, maybe they came back in September, but maybe left, maybe they had some sports in the fall. Don't be afraid to send them back, like, you know, send them um, an email and then give them a follow-up call saying, hey, you can come back anytime. You know, come join us now that you're, now that soccer's over or football's over. Um, I know that some sports can sometimes get in the way and you wonder if you're gonna see those scouts again, right? So that is all under welcome. And then when you scroll down more, there are um, top downloads by program. So if you're in a, um, if you're in Cub Scouting, Scouts BSA, um, Exploring, Venture, you know, Venturing, there's all downloads here and there's lots and lots of resources. Um, so um, one of my favorites when it comes to onboarding is the five questions about Cub Scouting for parents. It's actually a video and they do a really great job with the top five questions that most parents ask. And it's a great, really quick video to show um, either at your joint scouting event or um, the first meeting with those new parents. Um, and um, there's just a lot of other um, great things here, social media calendar, there's postcards, all sorts of great materials uh, for recruiting and marketing your units, as well as onboarding those new kiddos and families. Um, don't forget there's peer-to-peer -peer recruitment cards under each section as well. So those are great to hand out um, to the kiddos and have them, you know, challenge them to invite one or two or three new friends to the next meeting or event. It's a great way to um, get them excited about that. And those young kiddos especially love the recruiter patch. So don't forget to mention that they earn a recruiter special patch when they recruit their new friends. So I know I kind of whizzed by that on our membership and marketing hub. Um, I'd love to take your questions or suggestions, or if there's anything I missed, I'd love to show you guys. So logos that are on there. We were hoping to do some SVGs on the Cricut. Um, do they have that available or am I going to have to like, convert it? 
Um, I'm not sure how much it can reproduce logos, okay. national logos, um, but there are logos on there that you can download. Um, I'm trying to see, I think they download as, um, you know, PDF files. Um, you were breaking up a little bit. Is that something that you're able to use or no? I literally logged on as I was waiting for you to get on. I logged on there and was just starting to peek at it. And so I'll get to dive in here. We we're just going to make water bottles for our Halloween event this weekend. Oh, yeah. I pressed even find blank water bottles at like for Walmart. And then I went to the Scout store and we ended up getting. Um, Code bracelets and wheels for Pinewood Derby cars, and then they have all the Pinewood Derby decals. So I'm like, there we go. They just get all the scout fun that they can get. <laughs> yeah, that will get them excited for the Derby. I know that that comes up pretty quickly. <laughs> Fast. Oh, I figured that was satisfactory, but really, eventually, would love like water bottles at some point. Yeah, that's always good to have, especially camp and when you go out on like little hikes or events there, they're, they're always looking for that. That would be fun. Yep. That's as far as I've gotten so far. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. And as you guys know, um, or, or maybe you don't know, but you can contact me through membership at nhscouting.org and more than willing to walk through, um, you know, anything if you, if you need help with uh, my dot scouting if you need help with updating your units pin um if you you know whatever you guys need i'm more than happy to um help walk through and and um you know we can do a zoom we can meet in person um or you know if it takes a phone call or whatever it is but more than happy to help you guys find the tools that you need or create the tools that you need if we're not finding them perfect thank you so much oh you're welcome I know Hannah, you especially wanted to see, um, you know, want to learn a little bit more about the member coordinator role. Did I answer some questions for you? Maybe she stepped away. Oh, and Hannah did say that they're using candy tags at their local trunk or treat on Saturday. I love that. That's excellent. Um, happy to hear that, Hannah. Um, we handed out at the Spooktacular, we had some special Spooktacular candy tags that we handed out to folks that were driving through. Um, so hopefully we had some non-scouting families drive through. And on those special tags, um, we actually put the QR code um, to save $25 to join and put the expiration date there. So that way they knew it was a limited time that they could join at a discount. Um, with the QR code so they could get more information. And I have to say there was kind of a flurry of folks inquiring for some information. So I, I think they might have gotten it from the QR code, which is exciting. So any way that, that you know, you can um, find a way to communicate to those new families, wherever they may be, whether it's a trunk or treat, whether it's <laughs> scouts inviting friends, which that's a very effective way to um, recruit new members because the kids want to be where their friends are, right? Um, and, um, or using social media and providing that call to action. And the call to action is, you know, check out our website, call our scout master or come master or member coordinator for more information. You can email us here. Those are all calls to action. And you wanna make sure when you're actively recruiting, which recruiting is year round, that we are really, um, when we're promoting it, we really wanna use a, a specific call to action. Um, you know, if you're on your website, you want to say, check out our Facebook page or click here for more information or click here to apply to, you know, to register for our group, right? Um, when you're on Facebook, you know, direct them to your website, direct them to someone's email uh, for more information. Um, definitely post the link to your Be a Scout pin often so they can go to the pin and either apply online or request more information through your pin as well. So those are all important call to actions when we're um, looking to reach out to more families. Any other questions?
I answered all the questions in under an hour. <laughs> that's that's what that's how that's how we're gonna go with it, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Lynn, did you have anything to add? I know you guys have had some successful recruiting events as well. What do you guys do to welcome your new families? Uh, we have a we have a packet that we mail out um, that has all that information in it about our our pack, and, along with the um, the calendar. And then we have a, a kind of a password protected uh, website that they can join, which is where we post most of our pictures because. Most of our parents don't want their kids out uh, photos on Facebook, mm -hmm. et cetera, which is a challenge. It makes it hard to yeah. to do a lot on the Facebook page because of that, you know. And I, our biggest recruiting thing is base camp. So we're currently at six new scouts and two new leaders because of the base camp. The mobile base camp? Yep. Yeah. It's yeah, a huge that's it's a very useful tool, especially when folks, and I know you guys have been really great about it, you know, when you're gathering that content information and following up, that is key. A lot of folks use, use the tools, but um, sometimes forget to, you know, collect that content information, or maybe they don't follow up right away. And that's where a lot of, um, there's a lot of missed opportunities, right? When, when we get to that yep. point, but you guys have been doing yeah. a great job. I know every time Steve will message me and say, they just recruited two more kids. At the moment. <laughs> yeah, well, the best part was the, the leader recruitment, you know, because, um, well, our, our Bear Den right now has eight scouts, um, which yeah. is great. Um, and we recruited uh, two Weeblo One kids this time in base camp, along with a leader, which we desperately needed. So, um, and then four, four Lions. So um, with a leader, so that was great. Um, that was we didn't great. have to just, we didn't have to beg, borrow, and steal so much for our leaders. Um, we were thinking that we were going to have to do that with the Lilo ones, but somebody stepped up, and they're all all great uh, adults that are really excited about it. So so we're blessed, I would say. It's so nice when you recruit kids and then you magically have a leader come in with it too. That's always nice. Yep. Yeah, it was really great. So I, I really feel like, you know, a year ago um, when my husband and I kind of stepped in to, to um, rejuvenate the pack after COVID because we've been, been longtime troop leaders too. Um, we're like really humming right now. And uh, the adults are, are really really doing a great job, which is awesome. That's so great. It's so good to hear. I love hearing yeah. all the good things. And, you know, sometimes when things aren't great, it's good to hear too, because we can troubleshoot yeah. and that's important too. Yeah. And for, for the trunk or, treat, trunk or treat that's happening in our town this weekend, um, we're, we're the bookmarks that were up at the council office is what's being handed out. Oh, that's just excellent. Easy. Yeah. That's we great. grabbed them at the same time we grabbed our scouting for food tags. So. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you guys grabbed those. Yeah. Um, for those of you that didn't hear, we have bookmarks. Um, oh, which I had one. I should I should have like props by my side over here. <laughs> uh, one side is Cub Scouts. I always talk with my hands. The other <laughs> side is Scouts BSA. And it has a QR code that leads people to nhscouting.org slash join. And it explains briefly what the scouting program is about. And at the bottom, folks can put in um, their contact information and their kids' ages and their like level of interest. So then it magically gets to me. And I have this little data sheet that says, you know, they just want to learn more about the program or they're ready to join now. And, you know, their kids are five and seven. Um, you know, they live in Manchester, like what unit can they join, things like that. So I can quickly help them find units near them. So it's, um, there are bookmarks that, you know, I was initially obviously thinking, you know, to hand out when people are at the mobile base camp and at different recruiting events, community events, but also start thinking about those events, um, you know, like how schools have Dr. Seuss week or Read Across America, or they have their scholastic um, book fairs. 
you know, ask someone at school or some of your PTO folks or, or call the admins and say, hey, do you guys want some bookmarks? We can just leave them by the register at the Scholastic Book Fair. And, you know, all kids love free stuff. It doesn't even matter what it is, as you guys probably know. Like, you could be like, guys, I have this remote, it's free. And they're like, oh, great, can I have it? <laughs> they just love all free things. Um, yeah, and so I, I, at our, yeah, at our truck and treat, the library is handing out books to all the kids. Perfect. So the book box just seemed like a really good match. Oh, that's excellent. I love that. Yeah. And and the other thing I'm going to do um, when I get it get it out on social media about scouting for food next week is I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, put the be a scout thing on there if people are interested in scouting too. I'm just that's gonna awesome. add it to the same same post essentially. That's awesome. That's perfect. That's exactly, you know, what we all try to keep thinking about, right? Is like, you know, making sure we're getting the information out there. And Scouting for Food is such a huge national effort. It's a great opportunity for us to really, you know, express to people, you know, the impact that Scouting makes still to this day. You know, the community service that we do, the impact that Scouting, food, Scouting for Food makes and in addition, hey, if you want to join the scouting movement, right? Because when you think about it, it really is a movement, isn't it? With all the things that our scouts have done over the years, especially through COVID, um, you know, join the scouting movement. Check check us out on BeAScout.org. You know, be a part of this, you know, next time, right? Um, it's, it's really sharing our passion with uh, folks that just haven't found us yet. And the Scouting for Food tags, Lynn, I don't know if you noticed, on one side, it's a scouting for food information. Yep. On the other side, it promotes base camp and join, joining scouting. I did. I did. Trust me, I saw that because our, <laughs> our personal food pantry has specific needs. And um, I printed out small little pieces of paper and I stapled them to about 2,500 tags. Oh so my God. I, I know what it says, Cindy. Trust me. <laughs> you know word for word what that tag says. <laughs> I do. Oh my gosh, I think you're a saint. <laughs> uh, I don't know. It we'll see. If if it if it brings in the items that they're they're looking for, which is like things that are not what people think about, like toilet paper, paper towels, right. you know, other other, you know, personal care products like shampoo, et cetera, um, then I will do it again. If if it doesn't, then I will and I also I wish this was on the scouting, scouting for food tags, honestly, is about uh, check your expiration dates, no expired food, because yeah. we throw out so much food every year. I'll write that down, Lynn, I, and, because, and pass it on. Because, uh, at, which I put on my little tags, which will be also in my, in my um, media stuff, but, but people just clean out their cupboards that day, I think. That's so and true. They, they just mm -hmm. don't think about it. Um, at all, and and I think they think they're doing something really great, but it all ends up in the dumpster at the end of the day. That's really true because we've looked at a few things, and it was like mm, we can't bring that over there. <laughs> you yeah, know, it's, it can be sketchy yeah. sometimes. sometimes. It's true; people well, just clean out their stuff. Well, most food food pantries won't take anything that's expired anymore. It used to be they take things that were mildly expired, but not anymore. You know, you can't risk it. You can't. You can't risk it, you know, if, if they get people sick, God forbid, you know. Well, it's, it, it's a federal guideline, unfortunately, right. what it is. So even though most of us might might use that item anyway in our own home, you know? Yeah, true. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's still fine. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, my goodness. Um well, I hope I answered all the questions uh, for you guys. If you, if you if you have more questions or want to, or you know, or have something else to discuss, we can certainly stay on. But I don't want to keep anyone longer than, uh, you know, it's eight o'clock, and I know we all have things to get back to, or or we're going to bed. <laughs> I don't know, whatever. <laughs> bed sounds good, right? My question: They have to print the flyers for us, right? What's the like turnaround time on that? Obviously request something for Saturday because that's bonkers but like should I a week two weeks uh great question thank you Sarah um and if you if you I just happen to be going to the office tomorrow so if you really want something for Saturday 
If you put it in tonight, I can try to get it for you. Um, but um, I usually try to tell people to um, like give me at least a week's notice, but that meaning that maybe you're two to three weeks out from your event. You know what I mean? Like give yourself time um, to promote it. Like if you're gonna put the flyers in the schools, you wanna make sure they get to the schools probably like a week or a week and a half before your actual event because the schools sometimes distribute flyers maybe only on Fridays. And so you have to <laughs> kind of like time that all out. Uh, <laughs> so um, so yeah, I mean, the sooner the better. Um, I There's been a lot of quick turnarounds. I try to, um, I usually try to be at the office every Thursday. Um, and Thursday is usually my printing day. Um, and then if I don't get to it, um, obviously, I, um, we have great team members that also help me too when we have an overabundance. So we'll we'll definitely, um, you know, we definitely want folks to get their flyers. Those are really important tools, especially if you can get into the schools. So um, and you can um, request them on the membership and marketing hub um, mm -hmm. under it's like the join scouting night flyer and material requests. And you'll notice um, we kind of keep adding things to the request sheet so we can get a good idea on what units need. So you can also put in if you need yard signs, um, if you want bookmarks, so that way I make sure there's plenty um, left for folks on the Porch of Metal Lodge. So the Porch of Metal Lodge always has this time of year membership items. Um, it has uh, the bookmarks that Lynn talked about because if you can't make it to the member care center before 4.30 p.m., um, I leave a bunch of stuff on the Porch of Nella Lodge because it's always open. Um, so there's bookmarks there, marketing flyers, posters. Um, there's joint scouting night envelopes. So in case you do collect paper applications, you have an envelope that you can, um, you know, return back to the office. Um, there's also, um, oh, there is some paper applications there too, but there's really very minimal because uh, really, like I said, online is the preferred way to, to register at this point. I'm trying to think what else is there. I know there's other stuff too, but there's a slew of membership stuff. So if you are in the Manchester area, or if you're planning on coming by the office, or if you have flyers to pick up, I usually leave the unit flyers on um, that table as well. Um, so you'll see all those elements there. And then that way you can pick up the flyers at your convenience. I usually put them in like a plastic bag. So they stay protected as well because it is a screened in porch. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's lots of materials there. And I also added on that request form um, what schools you plan on distributing to because we're trying to get an idea of um, where the flyers are going out to and how we can help distribute them further for you guys. Um, so um, it sounds like a lot to request, but it actually goes through very quickly. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no, thank you. I appreciate you asking that because uh, it's it's an important thing, you know, getting flyers out there, especially in the students' hands. That's one of the key ways we get interest as well. So, and um, anything else that you need to find or that you're looking for should be on the membership and marketing hub. But if you don't see it there, definitely contact us. Um, if you have ideas on something that would either improve or or something that's just missing that you'd like to see, definitely let us know. Um, you know, I I am starting to come up with the plan for next year, even though we're still trying to finish this year strong. Um, so if there's things that you think that should be included, you know, incentives or things that your unit could use um, that would help with membership, definitely let me know. I'd love to, um, you know, I'd love to consider it for the next year's plan. Hey, Cindy, I'm just curious. I know there was a push to have a certain number of uh, new members. Do you know where that stands right now? A certain number of new members per unit? Well, yeah, I guess or overall. Um, yeah, so basically we have set goals for each district in order okay. to help us reach the overall goal. Um, they're very rough goals. Um, I know for this month, um, when I checked this morning, we have 207 new um, registered youth for the month of October, which is good. Um, but to reach our goal to show growth for the month, uh, we were hoping to be um, a little over 300. Okay. Um, I think what's happening is that some units are holding on to applications 
for, um, and still recharging. Okay. That usually happens, even though that is not ideal. Um, so I, I'm thinking either way, we're gonna we're gonna hit growth um, when we're through rechartering, but it's just kind of happening slower because they're just not coming into our hands. Um, you know, each month like we thought they would. Um, but I mean, things are in, in the moving in the right direction. We're you know we're getting new youth, we're getting new interest every day. Um, and we know folks are, are hosting joint scouting events and they're going to community events, which is all great stuff. And everyone's working really hard. Um, but yeah, those district goals just kind of help us meet the overall goal. But remember, if your unit recruits five or more kids, they uh, you qualify for the president's membership challenge that is still going on. And you earn money woo, woo, <laughs> for your unit gets deposited right into your unit's account, which is excellent. And you can re um enter every every five scouts that you get so if you get five scouts and submit it great if you get five more scouts you can submit for more funds again so it's like the gift that keeps on giving um so don't forget oh, that's under so cindy i'm sorry cindy so that's not automatic you have to actually submit something you have to submit every time yes can you send that to me? Because I don't, I don't think I was aware of that. Yes, um, it is on the Membership and Marketing Hub under Incentives, okay. um, but I'll send it to you too. Um, All right, thanks. And um, we're looking at some other incentives too to end the year strong as well. So we'll definitely keep you guys posted on that. If you don't get the Membership, uh, the, the membership Monday newsletter, please opt in that is on the membership and marketing hub under newsletters you can view all the past newsletters you know when you have all your free time you can read through all the newsletters um but you can opt in to the newsletters there um and then you can also view the past membership workshops on the membership and marketing hub under workshops and you can register for the next workshop in that section as well so there's lots of tools, lots of resources. We're really trying to provide everything we can um, for everybody to um, make it easy and fun for you guys to welcome new families. Did you guys find tonight helpful? I hope I didn't talk, I feel like I always talk really fast. <laughs> no, it was good. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Lynn. Lynn's always my cheerleader. <laughs> <laughs> She's always like, it's great. <laughs> I love it. Um, I know we talked a lot about the recruiting side and then the, and then of course the onboarding materials and as you saw there are quite a few onboarding materials and definitely keep in mind um, if anyone has created a sheet that really that that new parent that new family cub scout packet probably is the best in terms of explaining uh the language so that might be a good resource you know um that is a good resource for families as, as they're coming in because it really kind of explains what the den means and what who the cub master is things like that but maybe it would be cool to have like a one sheet with like scouting vocabulary that that kind of got my brain going on that <laughs> there's probably one out there somewhere well i'm not going to take up any more of your time unless you guys have any other questions i definitely want to wish you a wonderful friday eve as i like to call it mm -hmm. and i def and definitely uh give me a call anytime uh, email us at any time. I'm always excited to talk about membership, so don't be afraid to reach out. Thank you, everybody, so much. Yep. Thanks, Cindy. Have a great evening. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye.